Hello guys, I'm Hafiz and today we'll be fixing Sega Max TD. Um, thanks for tuning in FYG by the way, um, it's for your guidance or fix your games. So anyway, the first thing that you are required to have is your CD-ROM of Sega Max TD or basically an ISO pointed to your D drive. Now I recommend setting your um, CD-ROM drive or Blu-ray drive or DVD drive whichever you have to D drive. Alright, um, let me extend it. Yeah. D drive because I find that D drive is the compatible the most compatible drive letter especially when you are playing old games and of course new games it doesn't really matter because um, some old games you need D drive for the music to be played so anyway um, your next step is to download and install and glide you can find the link below um, just run through the installation nothing special about it it's a 3d FX wrapper um, the next thing that you need to do is to create a games folder in your C drive okay that's your second step and of course last but not least just download um, the link to the max city file below the link to the fix file below um, which is in my onedrive over here max city just right click and click on download it's a 30 megabytes file basically I had to install on a Windows XP computer and then carry it over to my Windows 8 so anyway um it's ripped off from my CD but you still need the disk to be played okay um, so once you have got the uh, max CD file just extract the folder into your games folder that you have created in C drive alright just extract it into your games and once the extraction is completed um, open up the folder and run the registry now what includes here is actually um, your save files and basically it's the point that the music is to be played from your D drive I think so but anyway um, this also was exported from my Windows XP machine and I've changed um, some of the registry to make it work under 64-bit um, if you decided to you know place the max TD into a different directory um, instead of games then you just change it accordingly and if you're not keen to use your C drive so just change it accordingly for all of this but you don't change the exe onwards you know the GL max td and stuff all right so you save whatever you have changed and you just need to run the registry but if you follow my instruction and put it in your games folder in your c drive then you just basically need to run the registry so the next thing that you need to do is of course to launch the game um, we're gonna launch it with gl max td all right so i'm just gonna launch the game now like i said if you don't have the cd rom in um okay if you don't have the cd rom in then you may not able to launch the game at all unless you find a no CD crack or some stuff like that so if you have it um, the CD um, the music is gonna be played if it's pointed to D drive uh, I'm not sure about other drive but you know I rather just point it to D drive so anyway here we are on um, the Sega Max CD game um, as you guys may know that this is actually one of the worst game controls for um, any super bike games out there as far as I'm concerned because the bike um, leans away in a very not fluid um, bank it banks to the left and right in a very not fluid style I don't know what messed up but of course if you go to the arcade and play the game you know it's really really great at that point of time in the year 1996 I think um, this game I played it before in the arcade and it was super good so um, they released it on PC and the controls wasn't really good even on my Windows 98 PC I tried it I tried it with a joystick and nah um, it still doesn't feel natural so um, that's it that's the fix now if you don't have and glide install if you don't install your end glide and you still can actually run the game it doesn't really matter uh, you just need to ensure that you don't run on the GL you know you just run on the max TD which is a software mode and I recommend um, installing Anglite for that um, if you want to run this game okay so uh, thank you very much for checking out FYG I'm Hafiz signing off from YouTube